Hey, well, it's another beautiful day here at the Smart Energy Lab, and I'm off to check out the Hoy Miles microinverter system, including the Hoy Miles Cloud, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, Hoy Miles make a range of microinverters from single MPPT, dual MPPT, and the big boy, the 4 MPPT 2000 VA unit. Wow. And all of their units communicate via their own industrial strength Wi-Fi system through to their data transmit unit, their DTU. And so the DTU is also amazing, the range that they can get out of that unit. I've got it located uh, behind two shipping containers and a steel wall, and it passes the, the uh, data from the microinverters through all of that obstruction. That's pretty incredible. Anyway, here we are at the lab. <laughs> Let's get into it. There's something really beautiful about these Hoy Miles microinverters. They just sound amazing. <laughs> they also perform amazing and are really easy to connect. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm at the bench with the Hoy Miles microinverter system and I wanna show you their flex connector arrangements. This is really cool. It's totally plug and play. So here's a microinverter. By the way, this is their 2000 VA big boy, uh, four MPPTs. A maximum input voltage of 65 volts, MPPT range 16 to 60 volts, and the coolest feature of all, an ISC of 25 amps per input. That's amazing. Their IMP, uh, it's awesome too. So they're at 14 amps. Now, this one's the 2000 VA. This is the two input 800 VA, and they make a smaller uh, single input as well. So you can mix and match these. And the way you connect them is really cool, using the flex system. So here is the... Uh, output from one microinverter. We're going to connect it to one of these T connectors and you can't get it on the wrong way. So there we go. Made the connection. It's weather tight seal, IP67. Because it's the end of my trunking cable, I'm going to put an end cap on and that's a weather seal. And I'm going to connect it to the next microinverter in the chain. So my interconnect cable, click. And now I take my next microinverter and I'm going to join it onto the trunking cable with my three-way connector, like this, and connect the interconnect cable, like this. Now, see, it won't go on because active and neutral are the wrong way. You can't get it wrong. There we go. So, truly plug and play. And the home run cable is gonna have a circular cable going back to your uh, main switch for inverter system. And we just pop that on there. Can't put it on the wrong way. Done, job done. There we go. I've just built myself a microinverter system, plug the panels in, off we go. Now to take this apart, you require this tool. Now this tool comes in the kit, so don't worry, you don't have to buy it. And it's got a couple of uh, pins for disconnecting, small pins and large pins. The large pins are for disconnecting the micros, so pop that in there. I'll do it this way around so you can see. Pop that in there, and off comes the micro. And then for disconnecting all the other elements, we've got the small pins. So small pins, off it comes, three-way connector, get it in the right hole, off it comes, etc. So it's a really simple system, both to connect and, inter and disconnect, when you have the tool, of course. Look at that, in a matter of moments. You do have to put it in the right way, though. And the reason why they're quite firm is because they have this rubber seal here. Uh, it makes it an IP67 connection. Of course, you should support your cables. Don't leave them lying on the roof. That's, of course, mandatory uh, under our standards, ASNZS5033. So there you go. The Hoy Miles Flex Connector System with their microinverters. I'm loving it. <laughs>